So, I have several announcements this week, and then changes and everything like that. Uh, the first announcement is, we have a ton of people here that I've never seen before. You should totally come to this every time. Thank you very much. Uh, <clears throat> one of those people that I've never seen before is actually here from out of state. He was in town on business. Mr. Nightfire. Uh, all right. So, announcements in no particular order are, uh, this week we recorded Beowulf's voice, so I'm totally going to tell you who that is after everything else. Uh, all right. So, here are changes. Let's go. Uh, the first announcement is Beowulf has, what, like 99% of all of his clean frames at this point? Uh, which means he's bigger, which means if the game crashes, it'll crash, and that'll eventually be fixed, but it might crash, so let's find out. Um, oh, you can just leave it there, it's fine. Thank you, John. You're, you are the vana -ist of whites. Um, so first of all, we have two new colors for Beowulf this week. We have Alex from Street Fighter 3. Yeah! Thank you. And we have Jax from Mortal Kombat 3. I really wish that his red pants had had the bionic arms, but unfortunately they don't, so we get purple. Oh man, I sound like a rock star this week. Oh, all right. So I'm going to be Jax because Jax is awesome. Uh, I'm also going to be Robo Fortune because she has a bunch of new stuff. And on the other team, I'm going to be Eliza and Sarabella because maybe it won't crash. All right. Uh, can you ask them how the game audio is versus my voice? Because my voice is not where it normally is. No, no, just like ask the, just like if the stream chat says the game audio is loud, I'll help you turn it down. Yeah. Well, I, I guess you already asked them indirectly. There we go. All right. So what do we got? Okay. All right, that's fine. All right. So here we go. Uh, like I said, Beowulf has 99% of his colored frames, which means this was missing a thing, and it's colored. Uh, taunt is colored, uh, which also means that the whip for command grab is colored. Whoops, that wasn't even a whip. I'm awesome. The whip for command grab is colored. Uh, the wolves for moonsault are colored in I'm behind him, and everything looks dope now. Yeah. Uh, the effect for Blitzer has been improved slightly, so you can see it a little bit better. That is the single remaining animation that is not yet colored in. Um, which we will get pretty soon, I am told. Uh, all of his chairs for everything are colored in, which took a lot. Thank you very much, Brian. You're awesome. Uh, I think that was actually about it for him, because a lot of this week was Robo Fortune and making things work. So, Robo Fortune. Robo Fortune. Uh, all right. Robo Fortune has all of her remaining normals. Uh, I don't remember what she didn't have last week. So let's jumping medium punch. Um, jumping. I think she had weak kick and medium kick. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Uh, jumping hard punch, which shoots a little thing. Uh, you can air dash cancel it, obviously. And jumping hard kick. Uh, which is pretty cool because not only can you control it, you can control it up or down. Uh, so you can do a lot of really interesting stuff with that, including run away and not run away. Um, so that one's pretty cool. Uh, she already had all of these except for hard kick, so, oh yeah, crouching hard kick launches her head off and they follow her around. Uh, you you can have up to three at once. If you put out more than three, then they go away. Uh, they don't do anything yet, but they will eventually do things, so that's kind of important. Uh, also, this hits, but it, you're not really going to hit people with it very often. Um, yeah, the effect is really nice. Oh, and she has standing hard kick, which she had before but didn't hit, but now it hits. Um, so the point of standing hard kick is you can't special cancel it. I mean, she doesn't have any specials yet anyway, but you can't special cancel it. Uh, but you will be able to combo off of it from that distance. Uh, you can't combo off of it over here. And you can't, as far as I'm aware, uh, dash up and combo off of it mid-stage. 
but you will be able to combo off of it from here, which should give you some clue as to what Robo Fortune will actually have. Um, also, if you watched any of John's animation streams, you already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm the best. Um, Alright, so other stuff for this week. Do we have a second person? I guess I could do dummy recording. Alright, dummy recording. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, uh, Horus is back too, hitting you if you trade with it. Uh, which is gonna be difficult for me to actually... There we go. Yeah, so he does, He no longer goes into hit stun if Eliza gets hit. Uh, he still does if Eliza is an assist. But, this is better. Um, also, I guess I can unrecord the dummy and just do this. Um, also, standing medium punch... Or, sorry, standing weak punch is back too, not knocking you up a ton in the air. Uh, but the hit stun is still a lot shorter than it used to be. So you can sort of still use it for what you used to. Uh, but the biggest news for Eliza is that a bunch of her moves have lost between 50 and 150 damage. Um, which is actually not all that much when they get scaled. But the notable exceptions, or the notable important ones, are axes. Which, like, that used to do, I think... Hold it. Somebody will know. That's not me. Alright, dummy. Yeah, so that used to do like 5k, now it does 4k. Um, also, this used to do 1200 and now it does like 1050, which is still enough to get the separate scaling, but is slightly less good. Um, so that one is slightly important. Cerebella has also received some slight damage nerfs. Uh, what the heck were they? Oh, Jumping Heart Punch lost 50. Uh, Kancho, which I actually didn't realize did as much damage as it did, uh, does went from 1400 to 1000, I think. That's probably right. Uh, and standing hard kick lost 25 on each hit. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, and there was one more. Which is why we all booed earlier. Oh, that was totally not the right stage. I missed the button, I'm sorry. I don't actually know what stage this is. Lab works. All right, so uh, that used to be 700, now it's 500. And the follow-up also used to be 700, now it's 500. But to compensate for that, uh, the force damage scaling that was on Jumping Hard Kick is no longer present. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the summary for this week. Uh, also, since Robo Fortune is now has both ground throw and air throw and all normals, she will be going into the beta the next time I update the game. Uh, so you can all look forward to that. Um, and also we have crowd noise and we have... Oh yeah, so this week we recorded two very important things. The first one is way more important than the second one. Um, the first one is we recorded Beowulf's voice. And the second one is we recorded the first of our alternate announcer voice packs. I'm not going to tell you which one it is, but you can probably guess. So, without further ado, since everybody is here and everybody is quiet, I love that everybody is quiet, but, uh, I would like to introduce to you the voice of Beowulf, who's actually been in the crowd this whole time. Kai? That's right. Oh. So I just want to thank all the little people who helped me get where I was today. And by that I mean just me, and only me. But, oh man, I don't even know what to say, I'm going to cry. I just want to go to Disneyland. They roped me into this. Uh, I love Skullgirls, and this was a joy to do. So that's all I have to say. Anybody wants to come at me, ask questions, I'll answer them all, including all of the secret stuff Alex told me about the game. But credit where credit is due, I only got the audition, which I killed because Mike put me in the game. Now Mike didn't have to, he said, you know what, you sound exactly like how I think he would sound. Then I got the audition. Had to go against some big names. That was cool. Killed all of them. And now we have the current performance in the game. I think you're all going to really enjoy it. I put every drop of effort I could into it, and I think you are going to be just as excited as me. 
So I can't wait for you to hear it. It's a couple weeks away because we just recorded it. So he's going to chop it up, put it in the game. I imagine you'll see in the beta in a few weeks. And you will be on the mic tonight. And I will be on the mic tonight, so we're going to get... I'm going to answer all questions. I actually asked a shitload of lore questions based on what I've seen in the forums. So if anybody wondered about, like, Adam and Parasol or... <laughs> or any of those questions, I've been... Oh, yeah, I asked it. I told you I like this game. You thought I was shitting you? Like, no, I like this game. So, there you go. That's it. That's all I can say for now. I'll, I'll holler at you more, all right? Yeah. Huh? I am 287 pounds of folded steel and sex appeal! Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, Beowulf is only here for one night because he doesn't even live here. All right. Uh, that's it. We will probably be having a tournament, so if any of you want to stick around for the tournament or casuals, which will be over there, go right ahead. And once again, come to more of these things.